No matter how you identify, KSA Radio has something for you. KSA Radio, where you are family. KSA Radio is an internet radio station aimed at the LGBTQ plus community of South Africa, the African continent, and indeed the world. We broadcast through our website, ksaradio.co.za, and you can also find an app for your smartphone on the website. Now, the following is part of the Gay SA Radio interview series, and this interview was recently broadcast on Gay SA Radio. No matter your identity, Gay SA Radio will make you feel at home. Gay SA Radio, where you are family. You are listening to Gay SA Radio, where you are family. I'm Rion, and I'm chatting to a Mr. Gay World competitor and contestant Henry Chen. You know, we, we think of Taiwan and we, we kind of don't, I think, really understand that there's a gay life happening there. Uh, yes, yes, because uh, most of the people that they know about Taiwan, yes, yeah. I mean, big, big gay life, yes. And now you are currently the Mr. Gay World Taiwan. Um, what has this meant for you? For me, this, I have to... This title, I mean, all more obligation. I have to into, introduce my country, Taiwan, to a bigger audience and also shine the lights on our current LGBTQ uh, status and issues and also about uh, Taiwan cultures, etc. Is it the first time that you've entered a competition like this? Yes, yeah, this is my first time. What do you do when you are not Mr. Gay World? What work do you do? I will still be part of the Rainbow Punch team, which is uh, an LGBTQ Dragon Boat paddling team. Because being part of this community of paddlers helped me to address my uh, many LGBTQ uh, challenges. Can you tell me about those challenges? What, what challenges do you have? Yeah, about these challenges, I mean to communicate with those who don't agree with our lifestyles and start a dialogue about equal rights and this, etc. Yes. And what issues or causes do you support? Like I said with the previous questions, this help address equal rights issues and we'll try to become an LGBTQ support team in sports because there's lots of uh, sports area there's not not much LGBTQ people come out. They worry about their sponsorship. And we try to become a support group in sports and encourage. Why is sports so important to you? Do you do sports? Yes, I do. I do sports. And uh, obviously, the paddling is uh, my uh, most of my time I'm, I'm practicing. And I believe that the value is of existing is not about all the goals of achievement you want to achieve, but living in purpose to, to encourage yourself and to other people. So, so my approach for realizing my, my beliefs so goes with my uh, Dragon Ball team and also uh, for current my job, which is a matchmaking company for gay people, his uh, brand is Heater, and we try to motivate people to come out and date and to help them realize that there's nothing wrong in believing long-term relationship and it does can exist in gay communities. And th- we will try to, this is a platform for, for people we are looking for long-term relationships. You mentioned dragon boating. Tell me a bit about that, that sounds very interesting. Dragon boats is, uh, for, for most of the Chinese culture, it would be a, a traditional competing in one of the major festivals. So we also have a Dragon Ball Festival, we, uh, which will happen in June of this year. And it's a three, one of the major festivals in Taiwan. So we will have a huge long boats and we all paddling like to 18 to 20 people on the same boat we paddle. And how far do you paddle for? Is it like a long distance that you do? Uh, you were divided like two kind of distance like 200 meters or 500 meters and divided two kind of group like a mixed group or uh, sorry bigger board or small boats and also have mixed group or male group female group wow that should be quite 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 colorful it sounds very beautiful yes yes and we are also bring the uh, uh, rainbow flags when we are competition yes to show the rainbow flag in the open games 
for other countries. They also join our Taiwan Games because there will be 300 teams for joining uh, Rainbow. Uh, sorry, for for joining the Dragon Boats Festival every year. Have you been to South Africa before, or is this your first time? I haven't been in South Africa before, but I'm I'm so excited to explore your beautiful country because I saw some video of South Africa it has a stunning view from the Table Mountain of Cape Town and a beautiful coastlines. And I have said that you guys have some the best wines in the world, so I'm so excited to to explore some wine farms as well. And again, I also want to go to check out the colorful buildings area in in a full full cap. You clearly like wine. What do you prefer, red or white wine? Red wine. For Mr. Gay World, how are you preparing? I'm spending most of my time on building a strong social media platform to help me scrape my I Believe campaign. Because social media is right now is a strong tool to connecting the world. And which social media platforms are you most busy on? Which ones do you use? Facebook, Twitter? Using Facebook, and we also held in events and Instagrams. Should you win Mr. Gay World? What would that mean for you? First of all, it would be a great honor to be behind Mr. Gay World because I do see the value of within the LGBTQ communities around the world. And for me, Mr. Gay World brings the value to believe that one could be proud of himself to influence other people. And I believe that anyone could do this. What are you planning to wear in Mr. Gay World? Are you going to do wear any traditional um, clothing that's traditional to, to, to Taiwan? Yes, I'm, I'm going to prepare the traditional uh, costume. It's, right now, it's still under progressing because we uh, just finished the discussion with designer and we'll bring another aspect because most of people are expecting that Taiwan have Aboriginal stuff for, for bringing Taiwan, uh, thinking of Taiwan, but this time I'm bringing another one because uh, about the religious stuff, yes, and really making up. And any dragon boats? Are you planning to bring a dragon boat with? Uh, they were using the same color, like traditional dragon boat colors. They would have big red and yellow and blue and greens on it. Well, I can't wait. I'm going to be there to come and watch this. I'm coming down to Nisna, so I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Henry, thank you so much for your time. It's been amazing chatting to you and all the best for the competition. I really, really wish you all the luck. Yes, really thank you for the interview. Gay SA Radio. Slay, mama. Where you are family. I trust you found that interesting and informative. If you like what you hear, then you can perhaps stream Gay SA Radio through the website gayessayradio.co.za or you could get the smartphone app also on the same website. Gay SA Radio, where you are family. Gay SA Radio. Everybody, no. South Africa's home of dance music.